Hundreds of millions of people around the world are affected by brain diseases and disorders. All of us have had family members or relations or friends who have been impacted by brain diseases and disorders. Pharmaceutical companies have given up on new investments in neuroscience. It's too risky, it's too complex, it's too expensive. When it comes to scientific data, data tends to be very precise. And one of the key challenges is can we describe data in a language that everybody can understand so that when I'm talking about something, another person knows exactly what I'm talking about. And right now, we can't. We need to attack this problem in a multi-scale fashion. Uh, and, and we need a data infrastructure that can bind the multi-scale. Diseases are complicated and heterogeneous, and we're trying to understand all of these variables in combination, including genetics, imaging, clinical profiles, and predict what happens to patients over time. So neuroinformatics is the whole endeavor to support neuroscientists in bringing together their data, sharing it, and integrating it in order to accelerate our understanding of the brain. It is not a single agency, not a single country, not a single player. It is a neutral organization which works to help all these different main actors in the field. INCF has been very good at identifying um, bottlenecks or, or roadblocks, so small things which is stopping the field from being as efficient as it could be. As a neuroinformatics community, we have been helped a lot in initiating and training and education in neuroinformatics in Finland and in general in Nordic and Baltic countries. The more people and the more researchers, high-class researchers, that you have involved in the program, the better it is. Being able to be exposed to people from around the world, see all the really good informatics work, even seeing that the word informatics means different things to different uh, people. I think it's a really amazing opportunity to kind of look at the big picture and look at what we're all working for individually come together um, at a macro scale, at a global scale. You can be helping others to, to go faster through the path that you already took. Uh, working on the same problem, uh, learn from each other. And of course, it's also it's more fun. <laughs> what we expect is a real increase in the amount of data that's generated. And it's absolutely critical that we have excellent neuroinformatics programs to deal with this influx of new data. Only with neuroinformatics can we really analyze and come to grips with all these data. This is exciting. I mean, we are experiencing a new kind of science which is coming up at this very moment.